my channel. This is Vanessa at It's All About Me channel. For those of you who are new to my channel and for those that know who I am, welcome back. So today I decided to wake up and just ride the bicycle to Prospect Park in Brooklyn. It's like about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes on a bike. Uh, the ride actually from where I am, there's, well, I think when it, you're on 9th Street, you you just go straight up 9th Street. And then um, what happens? It looks like the sun's coming out. Let me just back up. It looks beautiful. So yeah, 9th Street, you take 9th Street all the way up. And then you, you see the sun's coming out. Let me see. Sorry, I'm moving back so you can see, you see the sky. See, because it, it's supposed to rain today. So it's supposed to rain. You see the sun? Yeah, so I'm, I already I already got sweaty from the ride because sorry I always have to spit because you know I'm a little I guess dehydrated. I'm really dehydrated. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, just enjoying it, right? I kind of lost train of thought over what I was trying to say, but uh, I want to show you a little bit. I don't know if you could see it as beautiful as I could see it. So I'm gonna pause it so I could turn the camera over and uh, I could show you the view. So look guys, it doesn't look the same until you're here in person. So calm and peaceful. Nature, huh? Nature. Just gonna show you here. So there's the, the bike path. So there's a bike path and there's a path for people to walk as well. See people running and jogging and stuff like that. And then you have the lake. She got some duckies over there. Somebody's over there with those ducks. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful view. Let me see if you see it. You see guys see it? The only one missing here is my boyfriend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> to make it beautiful you know it's it's funny that the water is is glistening due to the sun's reflection it's funny that and my boyfriend told me that it was gonna rain today and so I said I'm gonna head out before the rain so actually I was gonna plan I was planning to go to Astoria Park that was my plan for today's mission ride but I'm gonna have to postpone it to probably tomorrow as long as there's good weather I'll go to I'll go to Astoria and uh, there's actually a, a, a place a spot that I used to go to it's a like a Mexican restaurant bar place I want to see if it's open because I want to get their tacos I got to show you guys their tacos the owner is pretty cool you know I used to work at a place in that area and when I there was like nowhere no, no, nowhere to eat and I found that place you just want something quick and pretty much those places are quick when it comes to Food, especially tacos they could throw some tacos and they had some specials and stuff so I want to see if it's open at least for takeout and then I'm gonna order three I they have a deal I think it's well let's see what happens when I get there cuz because everything was shut sometimes there's other places that have better deals like um, I went to my mother's the, the day before yesterday and I wanted to go to Roosevelt because I there was some, I wanted to go to Bio Rico not because I love their food so much, because their food was like there was a, a a point that they were there that that restaurant made the best fried calamaris. So there's a few locations. That location in Roosevelt is I I would say it's fairly new, maybe a uh, two years, two three years, something like that. It's not that it's not that old that location. But the original location is in Sunnyside, Sunnyside by Greenpoint in Queens. Um, so. What drew, drew me to that place was their sangria. Their sangria was huge, huge, and it was only like seven dollars. So you go there, you um, well, I would go there, order one, and that's it. I couldn't even finish the sangria. So it was a huge sangria for seven dollars, and it was good. So it's funny because it depends who makes it. Because you know, if you have someone that's always making the sangria in a restaurant, you know, it's gonna taste the way that person makes it but unless they're following a recipe it's gonna change so if someone new comes and starts doing disagree and not following recipe if there is a recipe or not it's gonna taste different 
So that was the, one of the issues I had every time I would go to that spot. Like after a while of going there, the sangria taste changed. And that got me upset. I'm like, this sangria is off, you know. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about, mentioning actually now that we're on the sangria topic, you know, it, you don't always have to put the regular fruits. There's a place that I also love. This this place got the recipe. It's a recipe. It's called Pio Pio. I know a lot of you have heard of it, have gone there. They're known for obviously their chicken. That's why it says Pio Pio, because the birds, I mean the chickens go, Pio 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 Pio. <laughs> Anyways, so they're known for their chicken, but it's a Peruvian um, location, you know, restaurant. Also, um, the, the Pio Rico, also it's known for chicken. And Oh shit, I just saw a freaking rat. That's gross. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how I saw that nasty stuff. So back to the restaurant, so yeah. Oh, there's a cute doggy. Let me show you the dog. You see, you see the dog? You see the dog? <laughs> the dog took a different route from, from the... I don't know who's with the doggy. But um, anyway, so yeah, so back to Pio Rico is Peruvian and the Pio Pio is also Peruvian. But Pio Pio is way better than Pio, Pio Rico. Oh, actually, it used to be Pio Rico and they changed it to Rico. Sorry, I, I don't know why they, they changed the name maybe to draw different customers in. Long story short, making a comparison to those two restaurants I choose Pio Pio over Rico. But Pio Pio is on Northern Boulevard, which is further away from me. And there's hardly any parking. In Queens, Northern Boulevard, where there's a strip of all these restaurants, you could hardly find parking. You have to go park close to like the expressway where the, I think like close to, I would say, damn, what's the name of that? Ah, I forgot the name of the area, but it's like closer to like going towards the airport. Like if you go, I forgot the avenue, but Anyways, if you want to get parking, that's where you have to park. And then you have to walk about five, six blocks up. That's what typically happens over there. So anyways, Pio, Pio Pio has, their chicken is good. And they have a good sauce. And they also have good, like they also make um, like Chinese, like fried rice. Because Peruvians also have fried rice. Their fried rice is good. And it's a big portion. So if you get it, if you order one, like three people could eat from it. And then the only thing is their their rice and like quarter rice and chicken. I mean, qu quarter chicken and rice. It's a little bit of rice. They used to give more rice, and now they give some, 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 some type of portion that it would be fine for me to eat. You know, when I'm dieting, they give you a really small portion of rice. So I, I don't know. You probably have to order extra rice. You know, the rice and beans is really small when you order rice and beans. And I think they I think they charge like six dollars it's something yeah, they got a little crazy prices so the best thing you could do is order the the um they have the they have this this thing that's supposed to be their special it comes with a whole chicken sachi papas which is like hot fried hot dogs and french fries and then they give you like a side order of either maduros which is a, um the yellow plantains or platano um or the green plantains with those tones and they'll give you a, a, a rice and rice and, and, and beans. And that's that's it. Rice and breeze. Oh, and I think it might come with a salad. Because they have two of them. I, I forgot the, the names of the two pigs. Like, I haven't been there, obviously, guys. It's been a while. I haven't been there in a long time. But every time I go there, what I typically order is obviously the sangria. That's the first thing. I always order my drink. I'm like, need to my sangria first. And then I order whatever I'm going to have. So when I go with my kids and stuff, I'll order like the, the whole chicken with the sides that it comes with and then like I pick from it. It's not nothing big deal. I'm not trying to eat certain things. I also like to eat their ceviche. I usually get their their fish ceviche. Now Peruvian ceviche is different from the Ecuadorian ceviche, especially the fish one. It, it's, it has like less, I want to say less flavor, but they, you see the Ecuadorians, they add the uh, ketchup. They add the ketchup to get that sauce into their mix but Ruvians don't add the ketchup so it's pre it's mainly the fish the um lemon lime lemon lime salt um lemonized salt onions 
that's it's pretty it's a pretty simple thing but it tastes good so the way they they keep it marinated they put the fish they marinate the fish with the lime juice and salt in order to cook it they don't they don't cook so it's kind of like a it's kind of like sushi that's why a lot of people may not like it now when i do my my shrimp ceviche i cook the shrimp okay guys i season the shrimp and i put the shrimp in 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 boiling water for like a minute and then i take it out and then i stick it in the refrigerator or i cool it off you know you could put it in cold water or something like that but usually i i just don't do it like that but um what else is on the menu so yeah it's, it's it's not a big menu but you know you 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 go and you enjoy yourself you know you have a good time um the one there's actually one in Man there's one in manhattan that i used to go to like on third avenue off of i think seventh third avenue and i don't remember the street but it's called okay i don't know if anybody knows the charleston it's a it's a building it's called the charleston in the city when i used to do property management i used to, we used to manage that that was one of the buildings we had in the portfolio so uh, when i went one time this is how i found it actually when i went one time to the charleston for some type of meeting that we were having at the location um and i was hungry when i afterwards across the street uh, that um that place was there um the bill bill and it's funny because some of the workers from Field Beer on Northern would work at the one in Manhattan. So I would see them. And of course, you know me, I'm pretty friendly and I get along with, you know, okay, I don't get along with everybody, but the majority of the people I get along with. So anyways, they would see me, hey, what's up, how you doing? Lo mismo, lo mismo. They already know what I want to order. They already know. They already, sangria, sangria. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I always, I always order the same thing. They also had a special. So if you go to the Pio Pio in the city, they have a special. And um, when you order the special, it, you get a free soda, the quarter chicken rice. Like, I forgot what it is, but it's for like $10, $11, which is a good deal. Because if you go and order that afterwards, it's not going to be the same price. So typically, but you have to be there before 4 o'clock. Because after that, it's, they charge you full time, full price. Whatever. So I would go there. So yeah, and I, that was like my little spot where I go up with co-workers when I used to work on um, Pent, uh, Pentagon. Pentagon? Well, it was Progressive Credit Union. I was my place afterwards. It was a distance from where, where I was working because I was working on 33rd, 33rd, 131 West 33rd Street. And we had to go all the way down to 3rd Avenue. And we used to walk it. It was okay. It was worth it because they had nothing else. All those other little places had crap. And... Um, and they make they make that drink strong. They do, man. I, I'm telling you, most of the time I can I can I can hardly barely finish that one drink. So it's you get your your money's worth there. I, I forgot how much it's it, it costs there. I think it's maybe like eight dollars. It's not expensive, and it's 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 a good sangria because I don't think they use bad liquor because I never had a headache. Like you know when you go home or whatever, I don't have a headache for it. I just know that you gotta eat. That's for sure. You gotta eat. You, you go have some sangria and then you gotta eat your meal. And I always did it. I'm fine. You know, a lot of times, you know, I'm so bad because I, I feel bad for leaving half of it there, half of the sangria. But I'm like, I can't, I can't stuff it in. I can't, I can't take it to go. So it's just gonna have to, you know. I wanna have, and I hate it. I hate doing that. You know, the food you could take to go, obviously, but you know, when it comes to the drink, you can't take it. It's just so sad. So that's. <laughs> It's sad that I can't take it to go. So that's why I usually order my the drink first because I cannot eat and drink. It's just, I can't, I can't eat and then drink. It's like I have to drink and then have my meal because if I eat, I won't have room for my drink. So, you know, and I want to have my little drink sometimes. So I'll go there and unwind and then take, the, the other thing you could do, there's a the cross town bus that also, so sometimes if I'm walking and I see the cross town bus, I jump on that bus. It also got it would get pretty packed that place, man. I'm sure those people, those those ladies and gentlemen that work there as as the waiters and stuff, they make some good tips, man. They do. I always, you know, tip them well. You know, I had an issue with one lady. She was she looked Peruvian, okay? She had like blonde hair because I thought it was not right. I don't even know if she dyed it or not. I can't even tell because I didn't see no roots. But she looked Asian. And you know, Peruvians have a mix of, I think, Japanese. I'm not sure which Asian, 
country is mixed with Peruvians. I don't, I'm not really sure. I know I knew, but I forgot. But um, she was nasty. And I, I spoke to her in Spanish and she's like, I'm sorry. No, no, she didn't even say sorry. She's like, she gave me an attitude and she told me, I don't speak Spanish. And then I'm like, like, wow, really? You don't speak Spanish? And when you work in the Spanish restaurant, the first thing you're gonna think is that she's Spanish and Peruvian, because she kind of looked Peruvian and speak Spanish, but she wasn't. She was Russian. Guys, can you believe she was Russian? Yup, Russian. Whatever, but she was pretty nasty. And I was there with a coworker. We had some drinks and stuff. And she started overcharging us, saying we had more than certain things. Because my in French, she, she could hang hand up with the drinks. But it's like, I knew that she had added like an extra and then we were like, that's not what it was. And she got crazy, said she was gonna call the cops. You believe that? We're professionals in there eating in a restaurant telling them that she's charging us an extra, extra one or extra two. And look, I'm not one to start a fight. But you know, my friend was like, she was like, oh, we didn't order that. I was like, you're right. And I, I just like, I like to let shit go. And I'm not saying that she doesn't like to sit like, but it's like you didn't order that drink, so why you say? Anyways, we ended up paying and not leaving a tip because I'm a regular there, and my friend was becoming a regular because I, I go with her. So that's not how you treat a regular. Someone I, I'm freaking religious there, you know, religiously going to a freaking restaurant, and you got the audacity of, of fucking telling me, "Oops, sorry guys," telling me you're gonna call the cop. I didn't even I hear that. My friend was like, "She says you're gonna." You know, she was gonna call the cops, whatever. I said, like, what? I was like, listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pay for the food, we're gonna pay for the thing, and we're just not gonna leave a tip. She could have, that's, a, that's on her for overcharging us for that extra thing. And listen, typically the, the service is fast and good, okay? But that lady, there's something up her, her behind. I don't know what's wrong with that lady, but whatever. And then, you know, we will come back and she sometimes attends us. I really wish, sometimes I pick my own waiters when I go to restaurants that I know. I was like, oh, then I'll say hi to whoever it is. And I asked them if they could attend me. Because I like the way they, t they attend me. And then I've asked them before, you know, if I if I tip, is it split or does it go to you? Like, I asked that stuff because, you know what I'm saying? You're giving me good service and someone else giving me bad service and they're still going to get equally the same. So then uh, the, the Pollos Mario that I go to also, guys. <laughs> in Pollos Mario, I know that uh, there's waiters and stuff that I know. That they, I go there religiously. They know me. So sometimes I'll be like, excuse me, can you wait on me? And if I ask for them, then they take care of me fast like this, and boom. Because I've been, I've been, I've, I've, I've gone to these restaurants where you have one or two bad waiters. I'm like, listen, I, I don't have time to be waiting on you. You're supposed to be waiting on me, right? <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, guys, yeah. So I was here to chatting, enjoying myself. I know I started talking about restaurants because I want to, I want to, I want to do a few videos of certain places that I go to you know that I enjoy myself and have a good time whenever I go and I go with my daughter and we have a good time and people know me and I feel like like home like family you know what I'm saying so anyways uh I'm, I might make another clip I'm not sure but if I don't add something else thanks for watching remember to subscribe like and share and you know that's always some type of small talk with me guys you know I have to talk about something <laughs> you know that I can't just like be like um not saying anything I, I'm, I'm very talkative okay guys I, I, I can say a lot when you don't see me talking it's because there's something wrong like something's troubling me so I just wanted you to see this beautiful beautiful up and down like beautiful over there. Yeah. oh shit I see the rat now you see mother freaking rat oh my gosh I'm gonna get the heck back on my bike I just saw that freaking rat it's fucking big I know I said the f-word gosh but it is big, man. Oh my goodness, these rats must be starving. There's a bag of garbage there, there's a garbage here, you see? So if they don't pick up this garbage, these rats are gonna come in and tear down the place. But anyways, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel. You know, if you like to hear me talk all this nonsense and stuff. <laughs> so, see you soon, guys. Bye.